Hello my dear friends, today we are going to learn how to find the CG of the composite body. In previous video, we have discussed and learned how to calculate the CG of cone, sphere, cylinder, hemisphere, cube and cuboid. If you have not seen our previous video, please go through it as that video is very important for solving the today's problem. The link is given in the description box. Please go through it. So here the problem is find the center of gravity of a composite solid with respect to x and y axis see the figure so here the composite figure is given it is a composite of a cylinder and sphere so let us try to solve this example for solving you have to redraw this given figure on your answer sheet and observe the figure first of all we have to place this figure in the first quadrant so place this composite figure in the first quadrant that means we have to draw OX and OY. Now divide this composite body into two parts one is solid cylinder and second one is sphere. So for the solid cylinder we will consider body number one and for sphere it is body number two. If body consists of three parts then divide this body into three parts one two three. Now let us divide into two parts so first is our first figure is cylinder and second figure is sphere now first of all we will calculate now for cg we will calculate volume volume for the both cylinder and sphere so let us try to calculate v1 and v2 so volume of cylinder that means pi r square h and volume of sphere is v2 equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube for these formulas you go through our previous video so that the formulas will be easily easily understood now put the values of r and h so the diameter is 400 so radius is 200 for the cylinder so 200 square into height is 500 so put 500 and we will get 200 square into 500 into pi so we'll get it is 62.83 into 10 raised to 6 mm cube mm cube now calculate volume for the sphere v2 equal to 4 upon 3 into pi now radius of sphere here diameter is 300 so its radius is 150 and its cube so by calculating 150 cube into pi into 4 divided by 3 will get v2 equal to 14.14 .14 into 10 raised to 6 meter cube for the cylinder r is 400 by 2 that is 200 and for the sphere r is 300 by 2 that is 150 mm so we required v1 and v2 for next calculations now here observe the figure we, if it is symmetrical to any axis then we can calculate the distance from the axis so here this figure is symmetrical to vertical axis vertical so we'll get the horizontal distance from the y axis and that is this 400 divided by 2 as as the given composite body is symmetrical to vertical to the vertical line of symmetry so the cg lies on it cg lies on it therefore x bar is what x bar is 400 by 2 that is 200 mm so let us try to find out y1 
y2 and then y bar so for y1 that is center of gravity of this cylinder from x axis so this distance this total is 500 so 500 by 2 that is 250 mm so cg of this cylinder is at 250 mm from x axis now calculate the vertical distance of cg of the sphere now this 500 is fixed now this cg of the sphere is at radius so this 500 plus r so y2 y2 is equal to 500 plus the radius of the sphere is 150 radius is 150 so y2 is 650 mm so vertical distance of CG or sphere is at 650 mm from x axis now calculate y bar so by formula that is y bar equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 upon v1 plus v2 so v1 is 62.83 into 10 raised to 6 into y1 is 250 y1 is 250 plus v2 is 14.14 .14 into 10 raised to 6 into y2 is 650 upon v1 plus v2 that is 662.83 into 10 raised to 6 plus 14.14 .14 into 10 raised to 6 by calculating we will get y bar equal to 323.4 Four seven mm. So this is y bar. So x bar is two hundred. X bar is two hundred, and y bar is three twenty three point forty seven. So the CG at two hundred three twenty two point forty seven. So redraw the figure at the end and draw and the uh, position the CG in that figure. So you will get the full marks of this problem with respect to x and y axis so this is the answer you can also solve this problem by using tabular form but this method is very simple for practice we have selected two numericals so try to solve it in the next video we'll try to solve the first example of the exercise which is given for the practice I hope today's topic will be understood by all. If you have any query, doubt, please put in the comment box. I will reply to your queries. Keep watching our videos for learning at home. Stay at home. Safe home. Like and share our videos. Also subscribe and put this video in your playlist. Click bell icon for notification about next video launching. Thank you very much.